So today we're gonna to be talking about some mature makeup techniques. When choosing a foundation, there's so many different choices out there. You can get a liquid foundation or a powder foundation or a combination of the two. My personal favorite, I think most women, especially over 50, they have an issue with their skin being kind of dry and um, it's really important to keep your skin hydrated so that it has that glow to it. So I typically like uh, a tinted moisturizer or a liquid foundation. My particular favorite is a luminary. This is um, a line that we carry in the shop. I also have a couple of different tinted moisturizers that we also carry. My model Marsha today has a luminary on her skin. I feel like the powder minerals are being oversold, especially to women in this, uh, in this age group. Uh, you have a little bit more disposable income and so sometimes you can be a little bit of a victim of marketing. Don't be. Wrinkles, fine lines, and pores will show up a lot more when you put more powder on your face because the powder is going to settle in those areas. So I would steer clear of those. Use the powder for your T-zone, the area right between your eyes, your nose, and your chin. So just moving on, the most important feature on the face and the biggest um, place that you can make a big difference is your eyebrows. Two different ways that you can apply an eyebrow very easily um, is the first option would be just to use a brow mousse. This particular mousse is by Blink. It comes out in something that looks like a mascara wand and you use it the same way you would use mascara. You just want to sort of drag it along the brows to sort of hold them into place. Brown mousse is really great for women that have unruly brows um, or curly hair and sometimes you end up towards the end of the day or if you've slept on your, your face the wrong way, some of your brows might be pointing in the wrong direction. So this is a good tool to use. As far as defining your brow, if you have areas of your brow that, you know, over time you've overwaxed or they've just thinned out on you and you want to um, give yourself, you know, an arch that maybe isn't there uh, without using a little bit of help, this is the way we want to apply um, our, our brow powder. This tool here is a flat, um, a flat eyeliner brush or a chisel brush. People call it different things, but basically it's just got a flat top it's a smaller brush. You just want to tap it in a dark brown eyeshadow. It doesn't matter what brand, you just don't want to have something that has sparkle in it. So you want a matte dark brown uh, powder and that works for pretty much anyone. Uh, it's just a question of layering if you want to make them a little darker. I've already applied the brow powder to uh, Marsha today so I'm going to just for show, show you how I did it. You want to start at the arch or if you don't have one where you want to create the arch and you're just going to press down on the underside of the brow and you're going to work your way towards the center. That's going to give you the most natural line. You're going to go back in and you're just going to sweep up the lashes and the final stage is just blending out to the side. Now we don't want to come down and have it look like you know you have a, an upside down smiley face. You want to concentrate in this area and just blend out to the side. The next thing you can do, and this is probably the biggest area where I would say, don't even focus so much on the do, but focus on the don't. Eyeliner. Women over 50, I don't know why, but I see many of them lining underneath their eye, under their lash line here. When you put something on your face, especially when it's something as dark as a black eyeliner pencil or a brown eyeliner pencil, the eye is drawn to that darkest point. So what it ends up making your um, eyes do is they kind of look like this. That's not a good look on most people. Um, what you want to do is actually, if you can, line the top. The harder the line, it's actually going to lift your eyes. It's going to draw our eye to the top. Today, um, I put a little bit of a liner on Marsha. It's a gel liner because we're going to be doing some strip lashes in a little bit. But you can use a pencil. Um, I think using a pencil is a little bit more difficult than using a brush like this. This is the same eyebrow brush that we used. And you can certainly use this to apply your um, powder liner or a gel liner. Or if you don't have a gel liner and you want something that's gonna hold for the whole day, you can go ahead and wet this brush, tap it in your dark, darker color, whether it's gray or black or brown, and the way to apply this, you can just close your eye, Marsha, is you're going to just wiggle it along the lash line. Now I'm just doing this for show, to show you what I mean. But 
this is a much better look than taking a pencil or a powder liner and going underneath your lash line. When you put something on your lower lid, I think the best thing to do is to concentrate on the water line. The water line is the line just above your lashes. This is going to uh, basically blend the red that most people have in that area, um, especially during allergy season. We tend to get a lot more red in our eyes in that zone, so even if you don't want to put color there, you can actually go get a nude pencil or a white pencil and you can color that in and it's going to make a big difference. You're not going to look as tired um, and it just has a, a nice soft effect. The next thing I want to go through is, you know, women over 30 start to lose some of the pink in their cheeks and by 40 and 50, you know, you really um, need to enhance that area of your face. If you can, invest in a plum shade or, um, you know, more of a, a, of a peachy kind of shade as opposed to a brown shade. When you go for the bronzers and you have that sort of all over bronzer look, it tends to make your skin look older um, and it's not a good look. But if you have to have the bronzer, and I know that there are some people out there that are diehards, one of the good um, products that's out there that's sort of a, a happy medium is um, a cream bronzer. This particular uh, brand is Girlactic. This is called Skin Glow. The color's glamorous. And you can see it has some pinks. It's got a little bit of that brown in there. But it's nice because it gives you a little bit of a dewy bronze. And I'm going to just press this on Marsha's cheeks. I had already you know, put a little bit on there earlier. Um, but I really like this product. And I think that cream blushes and cream bronzers for women over 50 are a great way to enhance your skin and just give it a little bit of glow.